Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation, and for today's video, we're gonna be going over all of the new metal upgrades that we just recently received in the game. Okay, this includes the two medals that were selected from the uh, favorites metal campaign upgrade campaign that they had on their website, um, but there was also additional medals that they included as well uh, that are worth talking about okay now it is worth noting that every single one of these metals that got upgraded are automatically in the meta okay um just throwing that out there real quick but without further ado let's get started into each individual uh metal i'll go over my thoughts about all of them as well uh and we'll just go from there so starting off okay as we can kind of see here <laughs> on my screen uh, these are all the tier 9 medals as of right now. The two medals that got chosen from the favorite medals campaign were du Dual Wield Roxas EX as well as Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 2 Sor and Riku EX. Okay, these were the two medals selected. Now, these two medals got quite a big upgrade. Uh, and I'll put them on the screen real quick. All right, so this is Dual Wield Rox's EX. Now, as you can tell, there's quite a few changes uh, to the metal itself. The first of them being that the upgrade for both metals uh, will upgrade them both from being tier 7 metals to tier 9 metals, okay, which already dramatically upgrades their multipliers on their own, okay. Uh, now, it is now it is worth noting that when upgrading your metal, so once they become seven star and you want to upgrade them to their supernova form, all right, and you click on evolve, it does cost five copies of the same metal in order to evolve it to its supernova form. And then from there, you're also able to then evolve it using Meow Wows to its supernova plus form. So essentially, it <laughs> I I haven't seen uh, any of these metals at their supernova plus form just yet, but because of the fact that these metals are essentially getting Twice the amount of upgrades compared to a normal uh, Like Kingdom Hearts 3 metal which only gets one upgrade through Meow Wells I am willing to bet that these metals are gonna have the highest stats out of all metals in the game Okay, making them the best metals in the game essentially <laughs> Very possibly. Okay, again, I haven't seen it, seen a metal that's been upgraded that far just yet, so I can't confirm that. But I'm willing to bet that that's going to be the case. Okay, as it is right now, when we look at their uh, their metal cards, okay, their abilities and stuff, their upgrades, they both share the exact same multipliers. So there's not too much difference from that. Okay, the multipliers alone, and since they both contain the same damage condition, whereas the higher amount of HP. Uh, now, reminder, higher amount of HP means that the how much percentage of HP you have doesn't mean the just it doesn't mean that having 6,000 HP will make it stronger compared to 5,000 HP. That doesn't matter. Uh, these types of metals, they are based on the percentage of HP you currently have. So when you have full health, it'll do its max damage. If you only uh, compared to only, if you only have 50% of your HP, it'll do like half damage or so, something like that. Okay, that's how these type of metals work. So because of the fact you're pretty much almost always gonna have max HP anyways when fighting enemies, uh, you we can pretty much look at just their high end of their multiplier. So if we go back, this is the high end of their multiplier, which is at 58.79. As it is right now, the only AoE metal in the game, or, yeah, AoE metal in the game, that beats this multiplier is Guardian Form Sora. Guardian Form Sora is the only metal in the game that is higher than these two. But, again, remember, like I mentioned before, if these metals do have way higher stats, because they can evolve twice, essentially, uh, then even though Guardian Form Storm might have a higher multiplier, these metals will probably still end up being stronger. It's not confirmed just yet, but regardless, either way, these two metals will be in the meta. Now, aside from multipliers, uh, if we take a look, their buffs and debuffs have also been significantly increased as well. So, uh, Dual Wield Roxas got all of his buffs and debuffs increased to seven tiers, essentially, whereas 
Illustrated Converts to Sora and Riku EX also got their Boston Debuzz dramatically increased, especially Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora and Riku, because my god, having plus 15 upright uh, straight from the get-go can can be pretty good. I mean, granted, m most of the tier 9 medals already have that type of luxury anyway, so it's not, it's not that big of a deal compared to other tier 9 medals, but in terms of an upgrade from its seven star form, it's a it's a huge upgrade. Uh, it's also worth noting as well that it does provide plus three counters this time, and for both uh, metals, for both Sora and Riku EX as well as Dual Wield Roxas, they also achieved the Supernova ability, which is at one, times one sixty multiplier at base, uh, and then once you do the Miawa evolution, it gets a times two hundred uh, multiplier. Um, and then for Sora and Riku EX, they get a 180 base multiplier super for the Supernova. And once you evolve with Meowals, it goes to a times 220. Uh, the Sora and Riku at the moment is currently going to be the strong or the highest Supernova multiplier in the game. Okay. On top of the fact that because of the fact I'm speculating that it probably would have the highest stats in the game because of the double upgrade along with dual Roxas, I'm willing to bet that the uh, Sword and Riku EX medal might end up being the best AOE medal in the game, period. Possibly. Okay, again, it's not confirmed, but that's what, what I'm willing to assume so far. <clears throat> now... Aside from these medals, okay, because these medals are already going to be fantastic. <laughs> just Although, of course, just looking at the uh, requirements to evolve it to its supernova form in the first place, needing five copies of itself is kind of kind of hefty. You already kind of know just from, just from looking at that, uh, that they're going to have a banner for it. Like, def most definitely. There's going to... Chances are they'll probably make it so it's a... Uh, Every pull, you get a copy of the metal type of thing. I'm willing to bet that's what's going to end up happening. Um, but aside from that, okay, the other metals that got upgraded were all of the Birth by Sleep trio metals, including TVA, if you happen to have that. Uh, so HD Terra Supernova got upgraded, uh, HD Ventus, HD Aqua, and if you happen to have the uh, Terra Ventus and Aqua metal, the 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 exclusive metal you essentially needed the whale for <laughs> that metal also got upgraded uh as just as well I, I mean as you can see here with my terra it's it's clearly upgraded um it even has the supernova down at the bottom okay so the upgrades alone already make them top of the meta again okay and it, it kind of sucks for me because i just upgraded my meta tab <laughs> like a day or two ago like yesterday or or before that um but now that all of these metals came back into the meta essentially i'm probably gonna have to go back and uh update the meta tab again but yeah no the upgrade definitely makes all of the meta again um and Mostly because of the fact that they have the best multipliers, uh, some of the best multipliers in the game as of right now. They're not the best AoE medals in the game. They're still pretty good, but they're not the best AoE. Uh, but they are currently the strongest single target. Well, for single target purposes, they're currently the strongest in the game. Uh, if you just take a look at the multipliers right here. Oops, wrong one. Uh, multipliers right here. They have a multiplier of a 41.95 to a 59.13 and that applies for uh terra ventus and aqua i don't know off the top of my head what the uh the tv the terra ventus and aqua combination metal is but at least for the original three they, that's what these multiples have um and right now the 59.13 is currently the strongest multiplier in the game uh, in terms of metals that contain the uh the Meow Wow Evolution. Okay, so they are going to be the strongest period for single target purposes. Um, so like for PvP, for example, you're going to start seeing them all over the place again. Uh, everybody who happen has the TVA combination medal, you can rejoice. You can finally start using them again, which is not going to lie, even though I don't have it and I, I, I can't wail for it even if I wanted to. Uh, I'm willing to bet that <laughs> you feel a lot better that all your hard work trying to get it is didn't just get thrown out the window literally like what two weeks after obtaining the medal or something that that would have been like that would have felt really bad 
But yeah, no, they're, they're currently the strongest single target medals in the game at the moment. And still pretty decent AoE medals at the same time too. Uh, it's also worth noting too that because of the fact that they do fully buff and debuff upright strength and defense uh, respectively, that makes setups so much easier to actually manage now. Because uh, even if you end up using, say, where is it, a like Kingdom Hearts 3 Shion, for example, in a setup. Uh, just to help support the buffs and debuffs for whatever type of metals, you can still use some of the uh, the BBS trios, uh, trio metals to get the rest of your upright uh, buffs and debuffs as well for the rest of your metals. So, and that is going to be especially useful for any of the multicolored uh, keyblades that you end up using, such as like Starlight, uh, Fairy Stars, Stroke of Midnight. You know those multicolored ones that kind of have both reversed and upright slots. Uh, maybe even like Moogle Glory, for example. Those type of Keyblades. Like, this type of thing is going to be... Like, those buffs and debuffs are going to be very useful. Again, though, the BBS medals only received the basic Meow Wow upgrade. Whereas the two medals that won the uh, Favorite Metal campaign are going to be receiving both a Supernova upgrade on top of a second Meow Wow upgrade as well. Um, so I'm assuming that they're going to have the best stats in the game and very effectively possibly making them the best medals in the game potentially so aside from that i would love to hear what your guys thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below in regards to these new upgrades and such but if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way i know when i upload more videos such as this one my name is brian from kingdom martini and cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace guys